What is going on guys? We are out here, Upper Red Lake today. Myself, we got Cody with. We're here to jig some walleyes. You've been here what? I've been here once before. Cody's been here once before. I have never been here. Um, you know, you always hear this is like the best first, first ice jig bite up here in Minnesota. It's big, giant, shallow lake. Ice is over extremely quick. We're going out of Beacon Harbor Resort, um, somewhere on the northeast corner. I'm not really sure the exact location of it, but uh, we came out here, you know, we don't really know what to expect. Probably cover a lot of water. We don't really know a lot of specific spots, so that's the plan. Uh, we got about, how much ice say we got? Uh, anywhere from about seven to eight inches. I seven, eight inches, roughly. yeah. We found a couple just on the way out, a couple of spots that were like four, but um, you know, with the wind, it breaks up a little bit. So we're gonna get to punching some holes and hopefully jig a whole bunch of walleyes today. Fish on. Super shallow water. They're at the hole real quick. The nice part about Red Lake is a nice walleye. He's about 16 inches long. The awesome part about Red Lake is you get to keep a few fish. Very good jig bites so far, and uh, I think we're gonna take that one home. That one came on that cast master again. Glow pink. Uh, it's been working well, so we're gonna ice that guy and get back after it. So he's just kind of like chilling around the bottom. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Come on. Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh. Oh. It's a nice Red Lake walleye there. All right, we're out here on Red Lake. We're just bouncing around, moving. Uh, sometimes we're only moving 100 yards. Uh, just trying to stay on top of these fish, you know, trying to find the next school to bite. This one here, a golden glow slender spoon, one of my favorite ones. You know, we're gonna keep a few fish here. That is actually about a perfect size to eat. All right guys, fish on. It's been an awesome morning bite so far. There's another nice one. Look at that guy. Another one on that slender spoon there. I'd say orange and gold's been a pretty phenomenal color. Um, you know, a quick thing that we're noticing a lot is just how much you have to move. And one thing that makes moving incredibly easy for me uh, is the shack I fish out of. I fish out of it's called a little Lumalite Shack. The model's a little munchkin. It's like a six by eight. They make them in all sorts of different sizes. But basically the point is that you can move around extremely easily without spending a whole lot of time tearing stuff down, setting stuff up and stuff like that. We leave all of our gear right inside the shack actually. And uh, we leave the heater on the whole time. It makes it super easy to pull up to a spot, move around, punch a couple holes in the shack, maybe throw a tip up out, and uh, you know you don't have to spend a lot of time. If you want to move right away, throw everything back in the shack, you drive away and you're on the move. Keeps all the gear warm, keeps us warm. We don't have to set up and tear down. We can be into a spot, out of a spot, onto the next spot in like five minutes, you know? So it's incredibly important to be very mobile when you're out here on the ice, and that shack is a huge part of what I do pretty much wherever I ice fish, whether it's in Hayward, Red Lake, being mobile is absolutely crucial. All right guys, so we're utilizing a tip up outside, we're jigging in here and we have a dead stick in here. So between me and Cody, we're maxed out on our lines, using all of them, covering a little bit of water and we have a tip up up. So we're running beaver dam tip ups. Easily the best tip out there. Just a very, very smooth spool. We're gonna feed them a little bit of line, get tight. Fish on, that easy. A lot of guys wanna set the hook too hard on a tip up. Just that real soft. We got ourselves a nice one here. Here, buddy. Beauty. Just barely hooked. <laughs> we can pop him off here. Beautiful Red Lake walleye right there. You know, if you have extra lines to use, always use them. It's always worth it unless you're moving around real fast. You know, we're not seeing super hot fishing today, um, but you know, if we get in an area and we mark a few fish while we're moving around, we'll definitely throw out those couple lines if we're gonna spend a couple extra minutes there. There's about a 20 inch fish right there. Beautiful walleye, nice fat one up here on Red Lake. We're gonna get him back and uh, reset the beaver dam and get back after it. Doing a good job. This is thin, thin ice. Red Lake walleyes. <laughs> Look at that one. What an absolute chunk. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful fish. Barely hooked. Alright, so while we started out, we were out by the crowd. I've been out here once before. Uh, let me set up the girl before she starts freezing up. Come on. 
made a big move, uh, came further whatever direction this is and uh, found thinner ice. Uh, we actually parked on thicker ice, walked out here and uh, getting a lot of big ones now. Hooked up with another one in the shack up here on Red Lake. Ander. Yeah, this one's actually a little bit hard. Wait, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, you know, we've been using a variety of different stuff. You know, that one's on that tingler there. Um, but you want to talk a little bit about, you know, two types of spoons that we basically want to use to uh, we're catching these fish on? Yeah, there's two different types of spoons we like to use. Uh, one I'd like to call is like a flutter spoon. Uh, pretty much your slender spoons, your tingler spoons, anything that you get that will kick off to the side just a little bit on you. And then uh, another kind of spoon that's really good and effective is uh, pretty much like a buckshot spoon. Get something with a little bit of rattle in there and it's going to get that little pounding action. It won't really move side to side much. Just uh, kind of straight up and down pounding, and uh, that'll get a fish to eat as well. All right, guys, we are hooked up on another one here. We actually made a little bit of a move again. A little bit shallower, nice fish. There he is. We just uh, made kind of a long move. Uh, we went up a little shallower. You know, we don't know. Uh, there's another one on that Acme uh, Castmaster right there, but beautiful fish, about a 19 inch or maybe 20 inches right there. Big thick fish. I'm actually really surprised at just the quality of fish in here. You always hear of it kind of being an eater bite, but we're just catching a lot of these big chunky 19, 20, 21 inches, uh, which has been a lot of fun. We've caught some off camera, um, catching them on camera. So we're going to go ahead and get, let that guy go quick. You know, we don't know the specifics of this lake. I mean, it's just vast and it seems like it's just all the same. It's just a very slow taper off the shoreline. Um, you get out here miles and it's still six, seven feet deep. And uh, because we don't know these specific maybe locations where there's a lot of fish, we're just moving around as quick as we can trying to intercept um, a lot of these fish as they're cruising around. So we'll spend 10, 15 minutes max in a spot. If we don't mark any, we move. If we mark some, we camp down and see, and see how long that school lasts or if it's just a couple of fish moving through. Hooked up. Look at that. So shallow, you can see them down there. That is too much fun. Another beautiful one there. Sun's finally starting to go down. It's getting a little later in the day, and we are on an absolutely awesome bite up shallow. This is fun. We're marking fish in pretty much every hole, and they're absolutely choking. Bates down. It's that cast master getting glow red, getting it done. This is when it gets to be a lot of fun. Oh, could you imagine that? Oh, what another beautiful red lake walleye. We are pulling up some real trophy walleyes. Look at how fat that fish is. Just gorgeous. Oh my. Oh. What do you think? Oh, I love that good smell. Good day? Oh, it's a good day. Well, what'd you think of good old Red Lake? A good time. It was. Uh, we need a little bit of light here. We do. Definitely a good time. Uh, just as I remembered it from the time before. Lots of numbers. A uh, ton of fish. Absolutely crazy jig bite. Uh, one thing we didn't mention, um, but we kind of fished basically anywhere from about seven to nine feet of water. Yeah, real shallow. Yep, uh, we kind of ran around quite a little, little bit. There are some pressure cracks out there we saw. It's not quite December yet, um, where, you know, there isn't much ice. You know, we gotta just, every time you approach a crack or an ice sieve, you know, just take a look before you cross it, make sure you're good. Otherwise, uh, as far as factual intelligence information goes, did we miss anything? No. Well. It wasn't really a specific I mean, you don't really color. Mark half of the fish you see. Yeah, a lot it's of the fish you'll never bad. mark. It's yeah. just you know you're jigging and all of a sudden you know rod loads up. Um, otherwise, yeah, crazy evening bite for sure. Crazy morning bite. Midday, you definitely had to run around a little bit more, but move, 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 uh, move around a ton. Like I said, we were out of Beacon Harbor Resort, and I don't think there's any reason nobody could come up here and catch a whole bunch of fish. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.